Right, hello and welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. This is part one of part four and I'm going to be showing you the different tips and tricks and how to create your website using Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. Now you can download the 30 day trial off of the Adobe official site so that 30 day trial um, can be used with the full version without having to actually buy it. You can buy it for around $200 so it's quite an expensive product but it's a an excellent product. So once you've installed Adobe Dreamweaver CS4 you can create a new HTML Cold Fusion PSP VB script which is like a JavaScript an XSLT and type page, a CSS, a JavaScript, an XML and a Dreamweaver site. Now the first thing you want to do is insert a HTML which is the normal basic page. Every single website and every single file image, video and anything that you have needs to be put in the exact same folder as all your websites. So you need a separate folder anywhere, desktop, my documents, whatever. That folder needs to include all the files that you're going to put onto your website. So then you'll be left with no hassles when you're moving it around. The first thing you want to do is you want to change your title so you can change it to whatever you're going to and the first thing you want to do is click save as so you're going to save it in your folder I've called it website now the default name is default or index I'm just going to use default it's a lot easier and the different things that you can use here is a code which shows you all the stuff that you've put in here which is all the different things that you're making at the moment your split so design and code and your design which is what I'm going to be showing you today you can also do your live views so you can disable the plugins in JavaScript which you don't want to do because then sometimes that will get rid of some of the different things that you have on your website like the menu bars and everything so the first thing you want to do after that is you want to go to your page properties you can change your default font. I'm going to change it back to Tributia, MS, RL, Helvetia, and Sans Serif. And I'm going to keep the size as not the size as nothing. I'm going to change the text to white. The background image to this, and I'm going to let it repeat. Of course, apply and as you can see the flowers only there that's because when you have your image it will just be as big as the dimensions are so I'm just gonna leave it at that you're going to need to do the same thing for the HTML appearance You want to change your text back to white again, your links to white, visited links to white, and active links to white. Also, your links, your link color to white, web visited links to white, rollover links to white, and active links to white. Once you have clicked OK, you're back to your main page, so you can save it and once you've saved it you can insert a table which will allow you to insert the different things onto here with ease so you insert your table as a probably a one by one column and your table width can be 768 pixels or 100 percent it does not matter but I like the 768 pixels because it's basically like a full screen you can also change it down here as well just in case so while this table is here I'm going to align it to the center so that when I open up my web browser and view my page it's going to be all aligned center and I'm going to center my text and I'm going to insert my text now from here you can also change the font 
over here, the size over here, the text color over here, and your alignments. Now I'm going to change my size to about 36 because that's a lot bigger for a title, <coughs> maybe even larger. Alright. And then you've got your size keeper at PX and keep your color as white. So once you've done that, then you have your web page here. In part two, I'm going to be showing you the different menus that you can make and a whole lot more. Thank you for listening to part one. I hope you learn. <laughs>